In case you were wondering why critical thinking is essential in nursing, I choose the top picture because they are the shiny symbols for life on the top and death on the bottom. The other picture represents the hundreds of decisions you will make daily in nursing. Many could mean life or death. The nursing profession tends to attract those who have a natural nurturing ability, a desire to help others and a knack for science or anatomy. But there is another important skill that successful nurses will share, their ability to think critically. Nurses are faced with decision-making situations in patient care, and each decision they make may impact patient outcomes. Nursing critical thinking skills drive the decision-making process and impact the quality of care provided. Throughout the program, you learn all sorts of practical skills in nursing school, like flawlessly dressing a wound and taking vitals like a pro or inserting a catheter in a sterile way. But without the ability to think clearly and make rational decisions, those skills alone won't get you very far. You need to think critically as well. There are only three objectives for this short chapter on probably the most important subject. So the last one was added. And in our eyes, it seems to be the most important one. What is critical thinking? Well, Critical thinking can be defined as the mental process of active and skillful perception, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation of collected information through observation, experience, and communication. That, bottom line, leads to a decision for action. If you will think back to the lecture on clinical judgment, you will remember that critical thinking is actually the first step in making a clinical judgment. People demonstrate critical thinking when they show the ability of, one, think beyond what has been said or shown to them. They act through perception and analysis. And two, to consider options related to the information they have received using synthesis. And three, to evaluate and make decisions based on multiple sources of information, which is the evaluation. Now, do you make mental connections? Do you forge links in your mind? Do you go beyond the given? Are you able to see patterns, relationships, and contexts? Such mental abilities can be learned, making critical thinking a normal part of your thought process. If you haven't read the nursing situation starting on the bottom of page 101 in your book, please do so now. Now, think about it. How the nurse in this situation use critical thinking? One, think beyond what has been said or shown to them. The nurse probably heard in the report when she came on shift that day that this patient was going home. Or she read the doctor's order, discharged to home in AM. So when she saw that his wife couldn't see well and had crippling arthritis, she added to her information that determined that the wife would not be able to handle all the care her husband needed. This is questioning and thinking beyond what was told to them. And number two, she was considering her options. Having come to this conclusion, she could have simply ignored the additional information and tell the charge nurse so she can handle it herself, or on the other hand, investigate what options were available. She chose to investigate other ways for the patient to receive proper care by consulting the patient about other family members who might be able to help. Consulting the social worker and charge nurse about home health options and finally by researching community resources where she found volunteers that were able to assist patients with ADLs. That in fact will be step three. What could have happened to the patient if she had just discharged him? How about if she had just passed the buck to the charge nurse? 
critical thinking allows you to move beyond the here and now and build new realities. To be honest, I'm not sure why the author included this paragraph that critical thinking is much more than thorough thinking to me, because thorough thinking is done very carefully and in a detailed way so that nothing is overlooked, which is what critical thinking bottom line implies. Perhaps the author was trying to emphasize that thorough implies taking one's time rather than quickly jumping to conclusions. It may be. So take the time to determine the most effective solution to a problem by checking with others, doing a literature review, and spending time thinking about it. Critical thinking has strong roots in the growth and refinement of nursing as a profession. The author is citing Florence Nightingale's vision of what nursing could become and Dr. Watson's theory of caring that defines the difference between nursing and just the medical model. The point of this chapter is not simply to teach you how to gain and use knowledge, but rather to use original thinking to create new knowledge. According to the author, critical thinking cannot be done well without the skill of creative thinking. To improve creative thinking, the author suggests the following. Start by brainstorming, which can be done alone or in groups. Just let the ideas fly, even if they seem ridiculous sometimes. Focus and let go. Focus on your creative ideas in a conscious way, and then let it go and let the subconscious continue working on it. When you least expect it, the answer will come to you. An unthought, unintended, and or unexpected but fortunate discovery and or learning experience that happens by accident. So serendipity is the ability to see something of value when you weren't looking for it. History is full of serendipitous events. Had Jenner and Fleming not seen something of value and pursued their discovery further, we would not have developed antibiotics and smallpox vaccine at that time. The author therefore suggests ways to cultivate creative serendipity by being attentive to the world around you, reading more than textbooks, talking to diverse people, take time to think of ideas and keep an idea file. Follow through with your ideas. Don't lose your ideas. Take the time and energy to implement them. You are not a critical thinker if you accept the information given to you without questioning it or evaluating it for clarity and accuracy. To think like a nurse requires that we learn the content of nursing, the ideas, concepts, and theories of nursing, and Based on that, we develop our intellectual capacities and skills so that we become disciplined and self-directed and critical thinkers. If you don't have critical thinking abilities, there is a high probability you will harm a patient. It is very important to be able to say, I don't know. But then you need to take the responsibility to search for the answer. The critical thinker practices tolerance of other people's opinions cultures and ways of doing things. Above all, seek to understand and avoid criticism. Open-minded listening calls for your energy to be focused on the other person, not on yourself. We all have buttons when pushed will evoke a powerful negative reaction. Know what yours are. Take some time to identify them and think of strategies for not reacting to people or situations that are evocative. If you learn to recognize your issues and strengthen yourself so that you do not respond to them, you can improve your life immensely. You need to practice tolerance with the, and I'm trying to joke now, with the jerk and avoid being critical. Good luck with this. On the other hand, I've been trying for years and my husband or kids can still push all my buttons. Critical thinking is the way educated, professional people think. It is a challenging way to consider life and in general it needs to be learned. It is not intuitive. So I will give you here some questions. 
questions to ask yourself to get you started. Critical thinking questions that can be used in any situation. Starts by what's happening. Establish the basics and begin forming questions. The second will be, why is it important? Ask yourself why this is or isn't significant. Third one is a very important one. What, what don't I see? Consider alone or with others if there's any crucial information or perspective you might be missing or that the thing in question is missing. Number four will be how do I know? Identify how you know what you think you know and how that meaning was constructed. The fifth question will be who is saying it? Identify the position of the thing, a speaker and their position on an issue, for example, and then consider how that position could be influencing their thinking. Number six will, six will be, what else? What if? And ask, what else should we consider? And if we consider it, how will it change factor X or Y? Have you thought through a situation or problem to the point at which you can change your mind? Have you listened to the other person without being judgmental or defensive and after personal consideration determined the other person's idea was a great one? Being willing to change your mind is the highest level of critical thinking. Think about it.